Next question. There's been talk about Pakistan forming relations with Israel, and we know the winds of change are blowing through the Middle East. Is this in the cards, and why? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know where this has come from. It's, <laughs> uh, it's not. Pakistan um, has a very straightforward position, and it was a founder of Pakistan, Qaeda Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who was very clear that you know there has to be a just settlement a homeland for Palestinians before Pakistan can recognize Israel. Peace and stability in Afghanistan will open new opportunities for development and regional connectivity. Mr. President, Palestine remains a festering wound. A just and lasting settlement is indispensable for the Middle East, and actually the world. Illegal annexations of Palestinian territory, the building of illegal settlements, and the imposition of inhuman living conditions on the Palestinian people, especially in Gaza, cannot bring peace to a troubled region. Pakistan continues to support a two-state solution, in line with the UN General Assembly and Security Council resolutions within the international agreed parameters, and they are pre-1967 borders, and Al-Quds, Al-Sharif as the capital of a united, contiguous, and independent Palestinian state. Mr. President, the United Nations remains the best legitimate avenue for collective action in managing international conflicts, fostering peace and security, promoting equitable development and addressing global problems. I urge the Secretary General to take the lead in preventing global conflicts. He should convene summit-level meetings to address regional hotspots and resolve outstanding disputes. The United Nations should be made fully responsive to the challenges of our times. A comprehensive reform of the United Nations including the Security Council, is essential to promote greater democracy, accountability, transparency, and efficiency. Pakistan will continue to participate